Hello everybody and welcome back to Amnesia. When we left off we were in this dark area that I don't remember where I am. I think we're in storage and we just... Yeah, I think we just got the glass jar. And I'm gonna go and find out what we need it for. And it is really dark. So I'm gonna start lighting up torches. Um... So yeah, how was your day? Oh come on! Not this early! No! I'm trapped. I'm stuck. No. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. 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 He's coming this way. I'm screwed. I'm screwed, guys. Alright. I'm screwed. Oh, no. Nope. Come on. Are you really gonna screw me over this early in the game? Or not this early in the game, but this early in the episode? No? Woo, thank you. Alright, so let's go see where he came from. I don't even recognize this place. Ooh, oil. Yeah! Oil. That's totally what I needed. Is there any special things in here? No. Nope. Let's run this way. What's this? Kitchen? Let's go to the kitchen. Let's go get ourselves a snack. Yeah, man. I'm getting really hungry. I hear things happening. Um, is there any more signs, please? I'm lost. I need an adult. I just went around in a circle. Good job, me. A++ for accuracy. Did that just happen? I hope that didn't just happen. Oh, uh, what's that storage? What's that kitchen? This is definitely the way to the kitchen. So we're gonna go this way. Alright, keep going this way until we hit something that looks What happened to her? I don't know, what did happen to her? Tell me more, please. Please? It's locked. Oh, Budge. Alright, keep going to the kitchen. Alright. So, as I forget to set my timer again, we're gonna go into the kitchen. New was that? It's glowing. What? Hello? Hello? Oh no! Oh no! No, 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 Just my eyeballs. I need those. Oh, come on. Oh, I'm back in this. Where am I? Well, I know where I am, but I don't know where I need to go. Alright, so that way is that way. This way was the kitchen, correct? I hope. Alright, so I was looking at this green thing and then a monster came out of nowhere. What is this green thing? touch it ah why do you let me touch things that hurt me what no are you freaking kidding me come on, come on, come on. no me jail me jail no 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 i can't get out i can't get out i can't get out oh. <laughs> I don't want to do this anymore. Oh, I hate getting back here. Alright. 
It's acid, right? Why is that important? <laughs> Closing the door this time. Don't tell me he's gonna break down the door. Ah, uh, he's gonna break down the door, isn't he? Son of a biscuit. I see you breaking down that door. Sounds like he's freaking chewing his nails or something. I really want to peek around that corner and see what he's doing. Hello? Hello? Awesome, he went away. So, what do I have? I have a glass jar. Can I use glass jar on the acid? Ooh! Oh, there he is. I'm gonna have to follow him, aren't I? I am gonna have to follow him. Crap. Well, let's gather everything that's in here. Who is this? Nope. 3rd of August, 1839. I feel like I have fled the world and all its worries. Brennenberg is a majestic creation perched upon a forest-clad hill with towers reaching well above even the highest pine trees. Following the winding road leading to the gates gives the impression of discovering something forgotten, as if journeying with Marco Polo to the hidden Xanadu. Alexander, the Baron, is a peculiar but gracious man. He seems well versed in worldly matters and is not at all as eccentric as I assumed. My room is exquisite, and I'm confident that no hotel for miles could even hope to match it. As the sun sets on Brennenberg, its fairy tale varnish turns to an eerie gloom. Alexander's strange servants are never far away. They are a quiet lot, and their behavior could only be described as skulking. Alexander seems pleased by my presence. As he puts it, it seems like I got here just in time. Okay. Well, I still saw things in here. All right. There's gonna be a quick jump cut because I have to go and eat. So yeah, you're not gonna hear this. But anyway, there's a rat. All right, we're back. Uh, I had a little jump cut there because I went to go eat dinner. But now I'm all refreshed and stuff. I'm ready to go. So we just got what do we get? We got glass jar of acid. Don't know what we're gonna use it for, but you know what? We're gonna use it for something. Next time we see that monster, he's gonna find out that we have this. I want to know what that is. Like each time I go to this corner, that sound happens. I, I don't know what that is. What? I don't want to be here anymore. Let's just close that door. Yep. Wait, what? Hey, anybody, help! Christ, I don't believe this. What? I mean, why? How did I do to deserve this? I mean, it can't be. Do I deserve this? It wasn't my fault. Why did he have to go in there? No 
go into burning houses. He should have known better. All right, so apparently that guy burnt a house down or something. 4th of August, 1839. The nightmares woke me in the early morning, and for a moment, I forgot where I was. Shortly after, there was a knock on my door. Alexander had heard my screams and asked me to join him in the parlor. As we drank our tea, Alexander began to tell me what he knew. It seems like the orb I found casts a long and dark shadow. It's not only a powerful item, but a dangerous one. Simply by touching it, you invoke the powers within, and if you are too weak to control it, it will devour you. The shadow is a sluggish thing, lagging behind the wielder, killing anyone or anything in its path to reclaim the orb. I said I didn't care about its powers, and that Sounds I should like throw it away. After a burger. Alexander advised Sorry. against this, as I'd still be a part of the path to the orb, and eventually suffer death. Having the orb, I would at least have the chance to fight back when the time came. I asked Alexander what he meant when he said he could protect me, and he answered that things can be done, but at a price. <laughs> And what would that price be? Better not be my soul because I still need that. Yeah. All right, back to what we're doing. Go this way. Kitchen. I don't think I want to go back to the kitchen. But we're gonna go back to the kitchen anyway. Hello? Okay. Is she dead? Is she dead? I need to get to the other side. I know what we gotta use the pot of acid for. Aw, oh, and no, I ran out of oil. Okay, that's to the kitchen. So, we need to... go back into this hole, maybe? Right? This is how we came in? Oh! <gasps> Okay, maybe we don't need to go back in the hole. Maybe we don't. Maybe we do not. I was... Ah. Uh, that was still not budge. Nope. Where can I... Oh, let's see, what was it? That? It would do no good. Ah. Uh, can I... Chip it? Padlock main little big ball. I think I need to go around. I don't know what that would do for me, but we're gonna do it. Storage. No, we're gonna go this way. This is back the way we came. Well great. Alright, so... We're gonna continue to go this way then. And hopefully wind up where we need to be. Because... I'm lost. And I'm just running around in circles. I'm gonna go this way, back to storage. Right? This way is storage? Yep. Area, cell block, uh, storage. I think. Oh, there's nothing in here. Well, crap. <gasps> yes, there's a padlock. Crap. No, not that. Now we do this. We do no good. Oh, chipper. 
the padlock is in excellent condition. Why wouldn't that work? Do I need to use the... Um... I'm confused, what do I need to do? Why would it do no good? Um... Are you sure? Are you sure that it wouldn't do no good? I mean, acid is pretty strong and it'd probably burn through metal. Should I throw a rock at it or something? Do I need a chair? Throw a chair at it? Can't I do things? Urgh, this is so confusing. Ooh. No, I was back here. Ooh, ten bucks. Okay. All right. Back this way. No. This. Hello. storage. I don't want to go that way. Uh, I'm going to make it so that there's nowhere that I could hide. That's what's going to end up happening. Throw this thing in the budge. It's back to there. Is there anything in the kitchen? Oh. Into kitchen that I could grab. I wonder. Or I wonder if I could like put objects in it. Oh, that's so cool! <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm just gonna. Is just for a little bit. <laughs> Jar is already built. All right. So what should I do with said acid? Do I need a rock? Yeah, I need a rock. Let's go. Maybe she knows. Nope. Come on. Back to the other padlock then. Ah, this is the most time consuming event ever. Walking around with a rock. I mean, hey, if you can walk with a rock this big, actually, I think you deserve like a medal or something because this looks like a really heavy rock. And I'm not even holding it. I'm just like using my telekinesis. Go this way. Think this is the way the monster went? I hope not. I just went around in a circle. Where's my rock? Where'd my rock go? Oh, and there goes my oil. Oh, good thing. I lit up the place a little bit. Walking into the darkness. If you can't see anything, I can't either, so I can't fix that. If if you're like, hey, make the brightness brighter. 
because I can't do that myself. Unless, of course, I actually adjust. Uh, what's graphics? Brightness. And eh, 1.25. Yeah, but that. That makes it a lot less scary, though. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna name this rock. This rock is gonna be my new best friend. I'm gonna name him Frederick. Frederick. Well, I was trying to come up with a though after that. But, we're just gonna call him Frederick. So, Frederick, what's up? Fine, don't talk to me, jerk. Uh, anyway, me and Frederick are gonna go on some adventures. We're gonna have so much fun, because me and him are like best buds. And I'm just showing Frederick around the torture chamber so that if he messes anything up, I'm gonna punch him in the face and then throw him in there. So yeah, this way, right? Padlock. Padlock. Die. Okay. So wait. This looks like a different padlock. <gasps> awesome. Drill go. Oh, drills too weak. Yeah. Progress. Progress. What? I'm frozen! I'm frozen! I can't move! Uh, fear freeze! Fear freeze! Oh, god damn it. Uh, that was terrifying. My muscles just like all tensed up and stuff and I couldn't move. Oh, I'm right at the door. Awesome. Oh. What? Come on, boxes. Hide me good. I'm gonna have to run past them, aren't I? I'm gonna have to freaking run past them. Those jerks. Please tell me they're going away. Oh, what's my thing? Yeah, slight headache. I really wish I had lit up all this stuff now. Ha, suckers. Woo! I'm glad that we finally made progress. Because... I think it's about time to end off the episode. I don't know about you, but ooh. see, great new area, so great time. You used the drain sewers as a means of transport. Yes, they were built to divert water from an underground spring and are quite spacious. It seemed only natural to incorporate it into the overall structure, but we won't be using it. Not today. The flow is seasonal. And when the spring runs dry, the damp tunnels produce a rather poisonous type of fungi. There is an antidote, of course, but we won't be bothering with it today. Come, this way instead. We're almost there. Alright, so... Gears need to be greased. Ooh, oil. I like use glass jar. Did I seriously already figure this out? You're joking, right? Wow. Aww. Can I hit it again then? Go! Yes! Break it! 
break. Ah, brute force always triumphs. Now what do I do? Ooh, levers. Hold this one. I don't think that did anything. What about this one? Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. So yeah, we're gonna decide whether it's that path or that path. So, thanks for watching. Remember, everything you know is a lie, and I'll see you next time.